Coder has got a battery pack hooked up to it. I do not know. Where's Sonny? It can Where are you, Sonny? I know you're here it somewhere. Raise up your hand. Yeah, the watermelon. We're going. Where's Sonny? Is he here somewhere? Welcome, welcome. We're, you're we're, Sonny? We're still, <laughs> we're still in Miller's Tavern, Virginia. We just did the uh, wheel stand and marching truck. Now we're Funky doing Davis, 62 well, we national modified 4x4 trucks. You gonna sing something, Mike? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. You were singing last night. I heard you last night. You, that was 10 years ago. Last night was 10 years ago. You had a, oh, last time you sang was 10 years ago. Well, no, I don't think so. Howard. Right now we got Jake Kramer up here with a supernatural truck. Great looking truck. Jake Kramer at the controls. Distance to beat right now, 322.95. How you been doing? Coming out of Maryland. <laughs> Eight. 
low, low spot right here. I bet you that's six inches lower, isn't it, Bunky? Maybe, would you say five and a half? You never agree with me. Six, yeah, okay. Got a little low spot where that sled is grabbing hold. Now, Bunky, you a long time pull up. Don't ask where I'm going. I'm not going to ask you where you would go on this track, but what would you recommend where to go? <laughs> I didn't ask you. I just what would you recommend. It's a recommendation. It's you know recommendation. I'm not asking anything. It's a recommendation. Ain't nobody down there listening. Dan Fenner. Dan Fenner. That's a recommendation. All right, you heard it. Monkey Davis said, "Run right down the center." <laughs> On a recommendation. Oh, you changed your mind. You didn't change your mind. You just you had. <laughs> Would you run over here or dead center? You still, you don't know. You're dead center. <laughs> we'll know it now. It's not an all-male dominant sport. We got a young lady doing the driving right here. Coming out of Winchester. Kelsey Oates on the green machine. All right, ladies, you got to help her out. Leader marker set. Side of it, he's your longtime puller, and Willie Ump, all the great Ump from Winchester. With the big semi, Sonny Leonard power plant. Thank <laughs> you. 
one, a lot of these engines, they, they're running in the $80,000 range, brand new. So they, they have limited amount of runs on them, so they're going to shut them down and locally known, tow them off. Lo locally owned, naturally known, Sonny Leonard right there walking down the track. He builds these motors out here, not only out here on the track, but other motors right there, just outside of Lynchburg. And he said, fellas, got a little extra giddy up in your step. If you win out here tonight, you got a little extra money for you. So it's kind of paying out possibility of around about $1,300 to put that truck in your number one spot. What we got on the distance, Howard? 308.26. I'll tell you, they are running really close together, John, except for Dan Savage at 322. Everybody else has been right, right around 308, 307, 306. So a really tight class there. Okay, okay, weight in the sled, yes. It, it, it runs, it ranges from 40 to 45,000 pounds. I think we got about 45,000 pounds. Hey, Brad. 45,000 pounds. 38,000 pounds. But if you multiply that out by the time the box hits, the coefficient of friction and all the nerd stuff, it's going to be about 1.8, 2.0 multiplier. So you got a couple of them right there. 306 to 308. You got four trucks within two feet of each other. Dan Savage, 322.95. on the after midnight coming out of Stanley, Virginia. out nearly 1300 bucks uh, it's a shootout so they're only paying the top one two and three Sonny Leonard is right down the road in Lynchburg Virginia the builder of the world class Sonny's racing engines so he kicked in some money so it's 1300 bucks to the winner normally a payout if they were to win a class like they did last night uh, it would be uh, 400 some on bucks, 420, 425. Big payday.
that sled way over to the grandstand side of the truck. Pretty close to the, to the line, but that's, he's probably as far over to this side of the track as anybody has been tonight. So we'll see if this uh, is a wise decision on their part. Randy Brand trying to beat 322. Six hundred forty-eight cubic inches. Truck weighs sixty-two hundred pounds. Most of the weight's up front in the engine and in the weight box. I was loading two of these the other day. You can easily pick up the tail with just two people. modified 4x4 back in the 70s and 80s and he said because I, I asked him straight up about it he got local sponsorship from a, a beer, beer distributor and then uh, Bush Corporate uh, matched it so he made a lot of money won a grand national title or two uh, and it was in the cover on the cover of everything so very That'll easy bring to up up. Benjamin Ellis. but a lot of it is from people you already know with these guys and these guys Once will again, tell you, we work hard to play hard. Grand so they work incredibly champion. hard you say, okay, in the off-season and during the week. That's like winning Daytona. Because this does take a lot of time. When you win the Grand National Champion, anything. you're talking about 15 to 20 trucks easy in each com competitive class throughout. So they've gone into Wisconsin, Michigan, New York, Ohio, Indiana, Virginia, all of North Carolina, South Carolina. I tell you, I don't know how many places. But this truck right here, Benjamin, Benjamin Ellis. Put him on your number one spot as your points champion and 
He qualified to go to the Enderly pull-off with the Enderly fuel system pull-off on the Grand National Trucks and finished first in that class. Running a sunny Hemi 650 cubic inch motor. Sitting on the right hand side of the track. So this is your 2018 Grand National Champion for NTPA. The black truck that ran a little bit earlier with the Punisher on the side was your 2017 Grand National Champion. And he had another truck that went third, and I think his other truck went second or third or fourth this year. So a lot of a lot of trucks here uh, compete. We got about eight to ten that will run Grand National any given year. Uh, and about just 15 miles from, from where we're at right now. This is the new truck home of Poland right here. Miller's Tavern, Virginia. Look, we're working on smell of vision but we ain't there yet. My name is Willie T. This is my channel, WWP TV. I do the website for dragonpoles.com, Dragon Motorsports, and I contribute to beer money, pollingworld.com, a lot of places. So uh, the hot spot is provided by River. Well, Lake. we seem to be underway Check again. Them out. that divot John was talking about? You yeah. see that dip? Yeah. 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 I mean, you really got to drive it, though. I know why they're moving the sled. I mean, they're trying to get around it. 
but. <laughs> Nobody's touched yet. Everything's been from the middle this way. Hey, but Mark, that's never been the groove here, though. No, you're right, but I always think it's got to be one. That roll has rolled over so many times. Hey, this boy's crazy. He'll try it. Yeah. He's crazy. I'll try it. If I try to run the right line, he'll, he'll run it. I said, don't worry about it. Get close to Jim. Run at you, run at you. You're going to win. either win or we that's don't right. care. It's funny. We're either the winner or we don't care. That's right. Green flag for Peyton Davis and the Young Gun. It's gonna hold up. I think it's gonna hold up. Yeah, it's gonna hold up. Well, he just well, had well, two still got cut loose. Still got foot loose. Benjamin, the Benjamin didn't get him, and Peyton didn't get him. Peyton got one. Well, they got one more truck, right? The legend. The legend. Yeah. And I mean, that's a good truck. And Kevin School. Can you? You got a few more Grand National bullets, and then you got the Brisbane. But they ain't Hemi's though. And next time will be John Davis in the legend. Okay, the sled switches are because they, they're running the hammer heavier for the two-wheel drive class and some other things. And it's just a lot easier to switch the sled than to take weight out. And Sammy still sitting at 322.95. Switching sleds. Several of these trucks have been knocking, knocking, knocking on the door, but just can't quite get just past 322. Hey, Frank, sorry, I'm live streaming to you. So but hey, when I come to you like this, I'm talking to you. But they, they might pick you up, and they might love you. They love pullers, man. Strong running Chevrolet with John Davis at the controls. The legend. <laughs> Hey, they trusted me to load this truck up this week. And I didn't screw it up. 
That's good. I actually, I actually knew what I was doing. First time I'd ever done it. I loaded all three of them the day before. Oh my gosh. It's some work. Yeah. So it's some heavy lifting. Yeah. partner up with a pole in Florida. It's an indoor deal. And then uh, I'll cover 60 events a year if they're not all rained out. Maybe 50. Somewhere like that. What's next? We got the 62 Nationals now. Then we have the 62, uh, 6400 Pro Stock 4 by 4 and we have a semi exhibition. I don't.
see a yellow cab yet.
Is that a lever? Get the tow vehicle down at the end of the track. We lost our stabilizer bar for her front, front right the wheel. You can see it. Right there at the end of the hook. You need, you need a pickup? You need a... I don't know that you want to tow it. Jimmy, you need the uh, front end loader? No? Y'all got enough guys down there that can pick the truck up and carry it off? Just like tank. Uh, okay, uh, 6400 Pro Stock 4x4 is 510 uh, cubic inch with a 1% allowance, is that right? With a 1% allowance on the cubic inch. Uh, or is it 506 with the one? Huh? No, you're fine. 506 or 510? 510 with a 1% DOT uh, approved tires. This the engineering squad. That truck has an issue the past couple of times down the, the track. It's never dull, is it, Mark Davis? No.
6200 National Shootout.
got shut down about 2.23. The rear front. front. Did you never listen to King Rogers? Yeah, I got you. All right, trophy time. right 
Let's take 